Max Payne has nowhere left to go. We are very close to capturing him. You'll get a full statement then. Right now, I've got better things to do, ma'am. That was Deputy Chief Jim Rivera from the NYPD with no further comment at this time. Apart from his suspicious food habits, I figured Bravura to be one of the good guys. Fate had just dropped us on different sides in this. But when it came to capturing me, he was way out of his league. I had already ditched the cops a couple of rooftops back. For now. For now. Okay, any heals? Maybe. That's enough for that weapon. Let's go with the shotgun now. No. Fucking grenade. Let's not do that late next time. Gogniti ran out of steam in a dead-end alley with steam boiling out of the sewer grates like all the fires of hell were burning high beneath us. It was shakedown time. Where's Lupino? Screw you! Bad start, Vinny. Ah! Police brutality! I rate pretty high on that. You, 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 you can't just hurt me in cold blood? Uh-huh. Just keep telling yourself that. <gasps> Listen good, candy man. I'm not gonna be anybody's fall guy. I wanna know where your boss is hiding. There was no glory in this. I hadn't asked for this crap. Trouble had come to me in big dark swarms. The good and the just were like gold dust in the city. I had no illusions. I was not one of them. I was no hero. Just me and the gun and the crook. My options had decreased to a singular course. I'll tell you, I'll tell you, just don't hurt me no more. Lupino's at Ragnarok, the nightclub. Book me, take me in a home into the freaking jail, just don't hurt me. Your rights will be read at your funeral. Okay. That's done. The American Dream. Ragnarok was Lupino's private nightclub, a den of drugs built into an old theater. I knew what waited inside. 
V-head junkies ready to explode in random acts of senseless violence, and Lupino's goon squad, the worst stone-cold killers this side of hell. Ragnarok was as inviting as a headache, flickering and flashing to a machine gun beat. The belly of a nightclub was a gothic theme park that began with bondage games and led to the nasty stuff from there. Ragnarok. As subtle with its dark message as a cop killer bullet through the heart. Like father, like son. Just like Jack Lupino. Okay. Do you have anything in there? No. What about the other side? Just the TV. Oh, shotgun. Nice. Shotgun ammo is always worth it. That's locked. Did I see a key? Maybe? Maybe on the other side there was a key. Lower security. Oh, there. The book nice. had never been a bestseller. The book? What book? Let's heal up, I don't know if the healing stops when you watch a cutscene. Given the setting, I was surprised to find that somebody had been passing time reading. The paperback was entitled, The Age of Murder and Storm. The blurb on the back mentioned Norse mythos and Ragnarok, the end of a Viking world with a terrible winter that covered the earth in ice, when vile crimes were rampant and all humanity lost. I could see how somebody impressionable might get it into their head that we were at the end of time. I was also beginning to see what the nightclub and its owner were all about. All right. It's me. Fuck. There he is. Come on, really? Let's do this. Never mind, let's not do that. That's better. Save. Save. and the occult had been piled on the table. The room was stacked with light reading, such as Necronomicon, Witchcraft, and Paradise Lost, old exotic titles like Malleus Malficarum and De Umbrarum Rainy Novum Portis, books with pentagrams on their covers, all dealing with the occult and the infernal. 
lying between stacks of horror videos and a couple of Ouija boards. The only thing I could take seriously was the thought of Lupino taking it seriously. He had been spending a lot of time getting intimate with the guy downstairs. Okay. It's locked. Y'all yeah, need some kind of key for this, I think. Let's try the other way first. But there's no other way. What is bar? I don't see any keys. There must be a way. You tell me there isn't a key or something. Oh, it, there's a button. There's a button switch. Ow. Safe scum everything. Okay, there's a button for that. This is gonna be locked though, right? No, oh, also open. Okay, let's go on the other side, check it out, and then come back here. Some weapons. That's it. Pretty useless if you ask me. Oh, never mind. We made painkillers. Is that the drug? I think so. Bottles, painkillers. Great place to save. Guy on the up side, kill him, save, and there's one more up. Fucking hell. Where, where does this go? Is it just. It just goes down. Ah. 
Nice. What is that reaction speed? Luckily I have enough heals. Ooh, scary. Scary fall, bro. Oh, that's your fault, not mine. But this is some painkillers. I have to use one. Eight is maximum. needs to go up. Nope. Get one like this, two up, three should go high there, and number four up. Perfect. Pink. Hold it! each other and by me The backstage area led to Lupino's inner sanctum. The hot air inside was like an invisible wall, thick with incense and something else. A sickly sweet smell that made you gag. This was the rotten core of the Big Apple. Lupino lurked somewhere ahead, like a spider at the center of his web, waiting. The vapors in the air started to make my head swim. Torn pieces of a letter lay scattered on the sofa. What do I do? I see 
see the... I see the triangle, I mean, commission mark, but doesn't... Doesn't point me the right way. Uh, guess I can do anything, maybe destroy this. Nope. That's fine. The Sorry flesh if I of one. fallen angels! Come to me all! Astaroth, Beelzebub, Asmodeus, Baphomet, Lucifer, Loki, Satan, Jadulu, Lilith, Ella! Blood to you all! Secret. Living under the skin of reality. I've seen it. The corruption of flesh. Run. It's close. It's coming. What the hell? You have come. It's to the end of time. It's now. I will rise to her side. Safe. I don't need the words. I'm beyond the words. Where's the next one? another guy here another painkiller more uzis and to use uzis oh the boss i think i had known there'd have to be a catch in it somewhere and this one was the empire state building of catches Levino was pumped up and dying to go 15 rounds with a mutant alligator. And then he started this spooky monkey talk, straight from a bad dream. Mine. I have tasted the flesh of fallen angels. Did you? I've tasted the devil's green blood. It runs in my veins. I've seen beyond a world of skin. The architecture of blood and bow and arrow. Death! is coming she is coming and hell follows with her this is the twilight winter i am ready to be her son <laughs> her time is now and all who stand in her way must die <laughs> 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 You'll die! You'll <laughs> die! Now! All oh, die! Oh! Oh! <laughs> okay, let's yeah, let's slow down the time. No, 
got him. Got him. Nice. When the Pino finally went down, I wanted to make real sure he'd stay that way. V was a bad monster. Turned them into friggin' zombie demons from outer space. I think he's dead already. Huh? And that's when it happened. But dead or not, you've got the wrong guy. In stepped this knockout femme fatale holding a gun to my face. I returned the favor. Alright. Part two. Lisa Punchinello. Lisa Punchinello was the Don's wife. Mona Sachs. Lisa's evil twin. Your safety's off, evil twin. You might hurt someone with that gun of yours. Lisa's the damsel in distress. I'm the professional. I'd blow you away without batting an eye. Sure. And you can check out my credentials splattered all over this joint. Jack couldn't have framed you. Not the state he was in. We're after the same slime bag. Angelo Quincinello's the one who murdered your friend and framed you with it. You know this for a fact? I've got my sources. I don't have a clue these days. I just shoot them as they come. Who put a contract on the Archfiend? This one's mine. I hate the guts of that sadistic wife-beater. Why not pool our bullets for this one? I thought you'd never ask. <coughs> my finger was starting to twitch. How do you like your whiskey? I'm easy. As long as you don't try to slip me a Mickey. You're a real angel, Max. It was good stuff. Tasted sweet as honey going down. Nothing personal. Can't risk you going berserk and getting Lisa killed. Uh. Oh no. The what nightmare was always the same. Violent shapes moving in darkness, old and ugly. The killer's mad laughter was a riddle filled with wicked innuendo. Somewhere, the baby was crying. She drugged me. Okay. Can I do anything here? No. Going through the alleyways. Ooh, carry. <laughs> Just follow the voice. <laughs> Stop crying. Oh. Should have known it when we found you snoring next to Lapino's corpse. A comedian, huh? Okay, let's go upstairs. The pictures sure. were filled with good old times. That family. That's blocked. Captain Baseball Bat Boy is my favorite. Ouch. Wait, really? Am I that dead? You serious? Okay. Looks like I'll have to save it there. Would have thought some stupid thing will just fall me down. Okay, that's fine. I can do this again. Mag, no, please, Mag. Why? I didn't mean to. I'm sorry. Why, Max? I didn't mean to, Max. I promise, Max. I don't know what's faster, if running or. Max. Max. Uh, 
Doesn't really matter where I go, as I will teleport to that room soon anyways. That's why it uh, probably looks so bad, because of the widescreen. This used to be a 4x3 game. You shouldn't be seeing what's on the side. I'm supposed to just teleport you correctly. long enough am I not? Be almost there. Oh here I am. I'm back to the start, how? Okay. Yeah. Let's follow the voices. Right. <laughs> no please Ag why left <laughs> This way. <laughs> okay, now I'm going the right way. Should have known it when we found you snoring next to Lupino's corpse. A comedian, eh? The pictures were filled with good old times. I really love to watch cartoons. Captain Baseball Bat Boy is my favorite. Baseball Bat Boy is my favorite. Nope, but I can probably I shortcut really it. To watch here. Cartoon. Come on. I really love to watch cartoons. Captain right there. Baseball Bat Boy is my favorite. Nice. And then back here. I think that's correct. No. Oh, no, 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 please God, no. Okay, and now let's find our wife. Slice him, dice him, shoot him full of holes, blow him to bits, vaporize him, disintegrate him. No matter what you do, they'll still be back good as new. Michelle's diary lay on the table. Mag, no, please, Mag. Why? I didn't mean to. I'm sorry. Murderer! You killed her! Nothing like that ever happens in the real world. Chapter 1, The Baseball Bat All day in hell I woke up in a bad dream My head felt two sizes too small for my brain Max Payne I envy your name And the killer was smiling Pleased to meet you I'm Frankie the Bat Niagara Niagara, as in you cry a lot? He had a baseball bat and I was tied to a chair Pissing him off was the smart thing to do Cartoons. Cartoon violence is a fascinating thing. Let's take a break. I need to take a leak and maybe grab a cold one at the bar. 
Don't worry. I'll be back to finish this off. And then, it's checkout time. You play, you pay, you bastard. He swaggered out, and the door clanged shut behind him, locks clicking into place. Everyone makes mistakes. Mine hadn't been to crack jokes about the goon with the bat. He'd have cracked my skull regardless. It hadn't even been to trust a girl with a gun. I had blindly gone after the first bad guy on my hit list when I should have been aiming further up the ladder at the head of the Punchinello family. I couldn't bring myself to be pissed at Mona. I guess I had a soft spot for a pretty face. When somebody decides to play baseball with your head, you tend to get sore. They had dragged me back to the basement of Lupino's hotel. I was beaten, bruised, and blue. I felt like the chair I had broken to get free. All I had was Niagara's bat, sticky with my own blood. All right. I'm gonna save the game right here and I'll see you guys next time for now thank you for watching take care bye bye